Mount Fuji isn't just the tallest mountain in Japan. It's one of the country's well-known and important symbols. It sits in the border of Yamanashi and Shizuoka prefectures and is one of the favorite side trip destinations when visiting Tokyo because of its proximity to the capital. They say if you'd like to have the best views of Mount Fuji, it's best to head straight to Fuji Five Lakes area, which is at the foot of the mountain. To get there, we will be riding a bus from Shibuya to Kawaguchiko Station, located in the town of Fuji Kawaguchiko in Yamanashi Prefecture. This time, I'm traveling with my mom, two uncles, aunt, and three cousins, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I booked your tickets on Wheeler Express website, and a one-way ride costs 2,100 yen, while it's half the price for elementary students and below. The earliest bus I was able to book leaves the terminal at Shibuya Mart City Mall at 8.30 a.m. It's just beside Shibuya Crossing and is connected to Shibuya Train Station. The terminal is at the 5th floor. And there's Fujisan! My oh my, she's big and beautiful. I'm just using a wide lens camera but she's a lot closer in person than on video. Before booking, I suggest that you check the weather forecast for Fujikawa Guchiko on the week you're planning to visit so you can pick a day for when it's sunny and the skies are likely to be clear for a better chance of seeing Mount Fuji. At past 11 a.m., after almost three hours, we have arrived at Fuji Kawaguchiko. The first thing I noticed is how busy the place is. Tourists are everywhere. A lot of people really do want to see Mount Fuji. Kawaguchiko Station is a railway station for the Fujikyo Line. It has a huge shop, a restaurant, a tourist information center, and a ticketing office where you can also buy sightseeing passes and bus tickets. There's also a bus terminal just outside the ticketing office. As soon as we arrived, my aunt and I queued to buy the number 4 sightseeing pass which includes a limited bus ride, a round-trip ropeway ride, and a round-trip ferry ride on Lake Kawaguchi. It's worth 2,800 yen and comes at a discounted rate of 1,400 yen for kids. We were all feeling hungry after the 3-hour bus ride, so we looked for a place to eat and found this fried noodle stall just beside the station. When we went back to queue for the bus, there was already a long line. We took bus 1 which is the Kawaguchiko sightseeing bus and headed off to the ropeway area. There are loads of people waiting to ride the gondola. We joined the line at 2.20pm and reached the observation deck after an hour. The Mount Fuji panoramic ropeway brings you to the top of Mount Tenjo, where you can have a better view of Mount Fuji and Lake Kawaguchi. Watch your step. Yeah, watch your step. Watch your step. Watch your step. Watch your step. Look at the stunning view of Kawaguchiko from the gondola. Lake Kawaguchi or Kawaguchiko is one of the lakes that make up the Fuji Five Lakes. The other four are Yamanakako, Saiko, Motosuko, and Shoshiko. I hope I said that right! The sky is still clearer when we reach the top, although there were already some clouds covering the tip of Mount Fuji. Let's go. Nevertheless, it was a superb sight, and the view of the lake with the autumn foliage is really breathtaking. Wow, Abby, look! Do you see the amusement park? We can see the amusement It's that high thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, 
aesthetic. Aesthetic. A round trip ride on the ropeway without a pass costs 1,000 yen for adults and 500 yen for children. Unfortunately, there's also a long line of people waiting to go down so we didn't make it to the last ferry ride of the day, which is one of the things we were really looking forward to. From November to March, the ferry's last sail is scheduled 30 minutes earlier than the usual 4.30 p.m. last ride. Without a pass, a round-trip ferry ride costs 1,000 yen for adults and 500 yen for children. Anyhow, we just enjoyed the view from the lakeside and took some 360 videos like this. One, two, three. Hi! Hello! <laughs> We're in! Apart from the panoramic ropeway and ferry ride, there are other places of interest you can visit around Lake Kawaguchi. There's the Kawaguchi Co Museum of Art, Lake Kawaguchi Maple Corridor, which features a tunnel of vibrant autumn foliage the beautiful Oishi Park, and the Kawaguchiko Music Forest Museum. It's 4.44 p.m. and the bus that will take us back to Tokyo leaves at 6.20 p.m. So we need to go back to the station real soon. It was getting very cold and all the local buses were jam-packed with tourists. So we decided to just walk back to the station which took us around 10 minutes. By the way, the town of Fujikawaguchiko is located in a much elevated area, which makes it a lot colder here than Tokyo. So make sure that you dress warmly when coming here during autumn and winter. Before heading to Kawaguchiko station, we stopped by a 7-Eleven for some dinner takeaways. We had a fun and exciting day overall, even if we weren't able to maximize our sightseeing pass. And it's like that when you travel with family, right? It's always the company of one another that makes you happy. Based on our travel experience today, here are some things I would suggest that you do to get the most of your Mount Fuji side trip. 1. Take the earliest possible bus and book in advance. You'd want to get there as early as possible to maximize your day, especially during autumn or winter when the attractions close a little early than usual. You can also book online as early as 30 days before your trip. 2. If you're traveling solo or if you don't have kids or elderly people traveling with you, I suggest that you just walk all the way to the ropeway or ferry station then ride a bus, which takes a lot of time. 3. If you arrive at lunchtime, I don't suggest getting past number 4 anymore. Chances are, the lines for the ropeway and ferry are already too long, which will make it impossible for you to try both activities. Lastly, I noticed that the restaurants around the station or even the one at the station are all very busy. So if you need to go back to Tokyo in the evening, a sit-down dinner might not be a good idea. Just use whatever time you have left to see more of the place then grab some food from any convenience stores and eat it inside the bus or while you're waiting for the bus. I hope you enjoyed today's Mount Fuji tour and I'll see you in the next video.
Bugahan.